In this short tutorial, I would like to demonstrate some techniques for modeling in three dimensions. First of all, we're just going to sketch in a simple portal frame using the grid in the z equals zero coordinate. Now that we've got that done, we're going to move the grid out of plane. So we're going to change the z location and now if I rotate the view around, holding the control and the, the mouse wheel as a button, I can sketch two grid points, and now we're actually drawing in a different plane. Once we've got two frames uh, in different planes, we can turn off the grid, and you can sketch between existing nodes. So now we're sketching members in a different direction by using existing nodes. Let's reposition our grid again. This time we're going to reorient the grid. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees so that it, we can uh, draw floor beams. And I'm going to move it to uh, the same level as our existing beams. And I'm just going to change the spacing to show that you can. You can adjust this spacing anytime and then draw from the new grid points to new grid points. There are many techniques for drawing and creating models in visual analysis in 3D. You can generate copies, you can import DXF files. So we're just demonstrating a couple of basic techniques here. If you want to move some existing objects, you can select them. Here I'm using the control key to select a bunch of nodes and I'm going to use the Move operation in the Modify tab to raise them all up six inches to put some slope on our roof, for example. Let's take a look at how we might uh, create a wall. And I'm going to use Plate Elements to do that. So I'm going to turn on the Draw Plate mode. And I'm going to sketch in one single plate uh, along where our wall is going to be. Whenever you're modeling with plates, you need to use a plate mesh because plates are approximate. It's good to start with a simple plate mesh that kind of matches the geometry you need. I'm going to create a door opening in this wall, so I just set up a convenient plate mesh. In order to create the opening, I'm just going to delete the nodes which define plate locations. So the plates will automatically delete when I delete those nodes. I have to do a little bit of cleanup here. And maybe this opening isn't exactly the size that I want it to be. So I can hide the plates and select some nodes and move them. So I'm just going to change the location of these nodes and the plate elements will automatically adjust. And whoops, I should have got the, that top node, so I can do that one separately and just set its coordinate there. Now the plate elements adjust, and we have a, a plate mesh with an opening. I use the shift click to select all those plates, and then I can change their thickness or their material. And I can use the control mouse wheel again to drag and rotate the view. By the way, if you want to learn how to um, do various things with the mouse and keyboard, you can use the context menu, right click, and there's a, the top item in the menu will give you tips on how to use the mouse and the keyboard.